Hi, my name is Agustin Caroso and welcome to Us Station. So in this episode, I want to teach you how you can create a modal pop-up inside of Webflow. It's going to be something like this. Now, before we go any further, I should tell you that we are supposed to use uh, interrupting pop-ups pop -ups only when necessary, all right? Because it actually interrupts our users. But sometimes our clients want them implemented, all right? So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I want us to have something to click that's gonna be able to trigger that model, that pop-up to show up. So the easiest way to do that is to use uh, the nav bar, right? Which already exists, it's created for us. So what I want to happen is when the user clicks the home button, it's gonna show up a model, a pop-up, right? So first things I wanna do is start creating the element and we're gonna do it through a div. And this div block, I'm gonna call it a modal. And this modal is gonna hold another div inside of it, which we're going to call it a pop-up. The pop-up itself or the form or whatever. All right, so on the modal, I want this to occupy the entire screen. And before anything else, for us to see what's gonna happen, it's better if we change the background, the color gradient. Let's just pick an orangey and a little bit of less opacity. Yeah, that works. So now we see what we're gonna what we are actually doing. So what I want to do is I want to give it a hundred percent viewport width, which means it's gonna take the entire width of the viewport and a hundred percent viewport height. Same thing. Viewport width and 100% viewport height so it's occupying everything now you might be asking why is it not showing uh, like above the nav bar we're gonna solve it solve that next so the next thing I want to do is I want to actually position it as an absolute and I want it to occupy the full screen as well and in here is where we're gonna be able to put this model on top of the nav bar of course, uh, we need to actually put it above the navbar, but then we need to give it a Z index. So it's gonna be closer to us and on top of the navbar. As the navbar is a, an already created element, it has a very, very, very high Z index. So you're gonna span nines until it actually works. See, this is not best practices, but because you should be using your own navbar, but this navbar I think has hard coded like for nines or something like that. All right, so now that we have the model that's occupying the entire screen, we can start working on creating a pop-up. I want this pop-up to be centered. So in the model, I'm gonna give it a display flex. So it's gonna be able to showcase stuff in the middle, right? Now this pop-up, I want to give it again to see it better a white uh, background. And also just for the sake of it, I want to give it uh, some rounded edges. All right, keep working on this. I'm gonna also give it um, a minimum width of 500 pixels just for us to see it better. And I wanna show, I wanna put a form inside of it. So once again, control, oops. I'm gonna put it a form block inside of it and I'm going to give it some padding. All right, so this is a simple pop-up. It was uh, fast and easy to create, but the, the next thing we need to do is we need to create an interaction that's gonna allow our users to close this uh, form. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come into the pop-up and inside of it, I'm just gonna create a text block. So we, and I'm gonna pull it above and I'm gonna just create a very fast X for us to to use it as a close button, right? And but the thing is, I want this to be either here or here above the form. So in order for us to do that, we need to come back to the pop up and to give it a position of relative. 
So we could come back to the to this x and give him a position on uh, either relative or absolute, both work. So here you can see that we can start putting it in, uh, as this position is actually relative to the pop-up. If we didn't change the pop-up to relative, this would have been relative to the entire body and this x would have been here in the corner. And that's not what we want. And I want to, this to float a little bit above. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it here and just like that it works. And the last thing, I want the user when it hovers over it to, to change the pointer. So we come here to the cursor, we go here into pointer and when you preview it, you're gonna see that it changes to signify that it's clickable, right? So what, what's gonna happen as soon as I click it? So we're gonna come here and we're going to start messing with interactions. So on element trigger, on mouse click, what I want to happen is we're gonna start an animation and we're gonna create a new one. Let's call it pop-up close. And as soon as I click this X, I'm going to close all of it, the entire model. So I'm gonna either one click here and start messing with it, or you can come here, create a hide show. But as we see, we're gonna be uh, actually messing with the text block and I don't want that. So I'm gonna right click here, change target, come to modal, which is the entire thing that we wanna change. All right, so now we're working with this. And what I want to do is I want to set it to disappear, to hide element, right? And I want to give it a delay of 0.2. Then we can click done and we can come click here on, uh, on preview. And as soon as I click it, it disappears. Beautiful, easy. Now what I want to do is I want to cl click on home and make it appear, right? But we can't work here, right? Because I can't click it because this entire thing here is showing. So we're just gonna come to the model and we're gonna hide it for the time being. Sorry, there we go. Now, same thing here. As soon as the user clicks here, I'm gonna come into interactions, element trigger, mouse click, action create, start an animation, which we're gonna create a new one, which is gonna be pop-up open. And then, as you remember, uh, we are actually interacting with this, but we wanna actually use the model. So click here, and then here for hide and show, same thing. Let's come here and let's put it into flex. As you remember, it was a, it was a flex display. Same thing with delay, 0.2, done. And now we can check it. As soon as I click here, our pop-up shows, this form works, and then just close it. This was a super easy to do one and fast. I don't want, I don't want this to be longer than it needs to. Of course, you can come here and make the interaction more beautiful to make it fading or appear from the left or or anything that you like, but I want it to be uh, as straightforward as possible. Please comment down below if you'd like to see a more complex pop-up being created or if you have any other kind of doubts, uh, I'll make sure to answer your comments. Alright guys, so I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.